Well, it certainly was an active weather day out there today. One of the most active we've had in a long time, I think in about two months since about May 27th. Had numerous severe thunderstorm warnings issued, even a couple of tornado warnings. And we'll take a look at some of the most active areas today. Now, the first things got going in Johnson County, you can see this storm developing here in the lead of the Bighorns, developed into a supercell and then dropped southward all the way across the county, even going into Natrona County as well, before, before finally exiting out to Converse County. But it lasted about three hours and produced a pretty good hail swath as well. Now, we'll stop the video right here. You can see that area right around Midwest, so there's a lot of damaging hail around there, some up to the size of uh, golf balls, maybe locally higher. You can see a few of these images of the hail right here. And we'll stop for just a minute now. Cammie Nelson took a really good time lapse of the storm. Now, these don't look like tornadoes here, but there was some rotation with this. It looks like scud to me, but a very intense storm. Watch this. Then we had another thunderstorm that formed uh, to the north of Casper in the southern part of the Bighorns and dropped southeastward. Now, we're looking at what's called storm relative motion right now, basically which way the winds are moving in relation to the radar. And we're looking for what we call couplets. Now, the real obvious ones are across Johnson County. No confirmed tornadoes there, though there was a lot of rotation with those storms. Now, I'll stop this and zoom in right around the Casper area. Now, you can't see much here. Look at these pictures. Yeah, actually a small tornado touched down just to the north of Casper. Now, it stayed over open ground and didn't cause any damage. This is one reason why we need spotters. A lot of times these small landspout tornadoes don't show up very well on the radar. So if you see something like this, make sure you report it to us. We had a couple more storms that developed as well. You can see this one around Thermopolis. This one uh, dropping some quarter-sized hail around Thermopolis, also some street flooding around the area. But the one we were really noticing is one that dropped southward out of Montana. This thing looked really, really impressive, dropping golf ball-sized hail across portions of central Montana as it dropped southward. And it also caused severe weather across much of uh, Bighorn County. We had reports of a wind gust of 62 miles per hour in Cali, also 60 miles per hour in the Grable area. And quite a bit of damage around the Lovell area as well. Uh, hail, air from Cali to Lovell, anywhere from um, nickel size up to about ping pong ball. And a lot of wind with this as well, a lot of limbs down there, and probably around the Grable area as well with those winds gusting over 60 miles per hour. Things are finally winding down as about 8 or 9 o'clock, but very active weather day today. Certainly kept us busy. Hope you enjoyed the video.